The topic of this lesson doesn't really fit into any particular category, so I decided to put it here. I'm going to talk about how you break out channels of a multi-channel clip into individual monaural clips. Let me show you what that's all about by going to Working Files, Projects, and scrolling on down to 1705 Breaking Out Mono. I'm going to import one more clip from the desktop that I put there just temporarily. It's not one that I'm including with the Working Files because it's a relatively large clip and there's no reason for me to include it in the Working Files for just this demo. I brought this clip in though because it's representative of how a lot of people shoot video these days. Many camcorders these days record audio into separate monaural channels within the same audio video file. Then later you want to break out those monaural channels as you do your editing. For example, with this clip, I had a wireless microphone on the person that I was featuring in the story and a shotgun mic on my camera. So the shotgun mic was kind of getting anything that my camera was pointed at, but the lavalier mic was picking up audio directly from that individual. So they're two completely different things and I want to work with them separately. So the way that I turn this two-channel, essentially stereo file into two monaural clips is to select it, then going up to Clip, and going to Audio Options, and then break out the mono. Quite simple. Let me just show you this. I'll just double click on the first one. You can see the audio volume there. And I'm going to click on the next one, and you see how different it is. The one on top was the microphone on the person that I was featuring in the story. And this one down here was on the camera. Quite a different audio experience. So that's why it's really important to be able to do this, and it really helps you down the road as you work on these files. You can also break out 5.1 channel audio. This is the 5.1 channel audio we've been working with all along here. I'll just play it for the moment. There it is. Here we go. And it's the one where you can barely hear Laura Lee Christensen singing because she's right there on the center channel. But because the center channel typically does not get played when you play it through a stereo system, it's kind of a held back. But if I divide this up into individual monaural clips, then we can work on that center channel. So I'm going to select this and then go to Clip and go to Audio Options and say Break Out the Mono. And here it's going to break out six channels. If I scroll down here, you can see them right there, channel one through six. What it doesn't do, it doesn't say that this is left and right and left surround, right surround, center, and low frequency effects. You just have to know that. But if you double click on one, then it says it down here L for left. This is right. You can see the difference here. The left one, play that for a second. The left channel was mainly the organ and the drums. And the right channel, you can see, is the guitars. The guitar and the horn section. And then here's surround sound. LS is left surround. RS is right surround, which picks up those same channels but plays them just like they're a little farther away. And this is finally the center channel. You finally can hear Laurel straight on here. Well, I know how much you wanted me to stay, but it just couldn't be that way. So if we want to work on that channel specifically, we put a little reverb on it or something like that. There it is for our use. And then finally, this is the LFE channel, the bass channel, at least the low frequency effects channel. It sounds like this. So you can really isolate the bass there and have that go through the subwoofer in your system. And just to clarify this process, you are not creating new files. You're creating new clips that are references back to the individual channels of the original file. It's really a very clever tool here inside Premiere Pro.